Hi, it's Joan. This week we're looking at how to cope with week two bins against us. Well, because the whole idea of opening at a high level is to upset the other side's bidding, we need to make sure that it doesn't. And that's a hard thing to do. First of all, if someone preempts and opens, say, two spades, and you, the first opponent and the next hand to speak, makes a jump bid in your suit, like four diamonds or four hearts, this is not weak. So you don't preempt as the opponent over their preempt. Jumps by our side are strong. The way to overcall over the opponent's weak two is you either bid at that level, like two hearts and we bid two spades, or two hearts, three spades, or two hearts, four spades, or two hearts, double, or two hearts, two no trumps. It all describes certain hands, none of them weak. So let's say we jump to game over their week two. We're showing a really good hand that had at least a five or six card suit of our own and enough to play a game opposite a partner with just a few points. So there are two positions to think about. If they open at week two and you're next, that's called the direct seat. And if they open a week two and it goes pass, pass to your partner, they're in the balancing seat. To come in over a week two in the direct seat requires a good hand, you know, a good opening hand, 14, 15 points. And if it's double, it's a shortage in their suit. If it's overcall, you need at least five cards, if not six, of your own suit. But two hearts pass, pass to the balancing hand. Now's the time you could act with fewer than an opening hand like 13 points. You don't need that. You might act as low as 10 points. It depends what the shape is. And so our big goal is if we've got game, we don't want the week two to make us fail to bid game. So remember, jumps by the person bidding over the week two, they're not weak, they're strong. Okay, have a great week, everyone. Week two by the West Hand, pass to you. We're in the balancing seat and we're going to bid, but whether to bid two spades, three spades or four spades is the question. With seven good spades missing the ace and the king, we are a little good in the balancing seat for two. So let's try three spades. This is not a weak hand, this is a stronger hand because the opponent's preempted and we need to get to game if we possibly can. Partner takes us to game. So counting losers, we've got no losers in hearts because we can trump these. We've got potentially a spade loser losing to the king. We don't know where the king is. If it's in the west hand, we won't lose it. If it's in the east hand, we will. Uh, we've got one club loser for sure, the ace, and we may have two diamond losers. It looks as if we might have one, but if the ace and the jack are sitting in the west hand, or if we can't reach the north hand and we have to play diamonds from south, which is not a good idea, we could lose two diamond tricks. So that's too many. You don't always know how many losers you have, because you don't know where the cards are distributed. But you have to sort of take out insurance on this hand in case we've got two diamond losers, one spade loser and one club loser. The club suit will save us and it'll allow us, if we lose to the ace of clubs now, to, we'll trump that heart, and we could try the Queen of Spades now because we know the club will take us to the Queen later and we can play the Jack discarding a diamond. So play the Queen of Spades, see what happens, play low. It loses to the King, back comes a club. Play the Queen, cash the Ace of Spades and now we've finished with those. 
Now the Jack of Clubs, discard a diamond, come back and trump a heart. And we will now take all the tricks except the Ace of Diamonds. So lose and now we can win and take the last two tricks. So we came home with four spades and three spades was a better hand. If we'd bid two spades here, two hearts pass, pass, two spades, partner would have passed. But bidding three spades allowed them to evaluate their hand and go to game.